Now this is definitely a film that points out what is morally right and what is the right thing to do. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Gone Baby Gone. This is actually a suggestion from one of my Gold Snicker Bar Patreon supporters, Shannon Miller. Gone Baby Gone is actually one of my favorite films, almost of all time. It's the first time that Ben Affleck actually directed a full-on film. It's one of Casey Affleck's first big leading roles, and it's a fantastic adaptation of a Dennis Delane novel. Gone Baby Gone is about a private detective named Patrick, played by Casey Affleck, who is on the search for a missing child who has been missing for several days now, and there's absolutely no leads. Her mother isn't the picture of a loving, caring mother figure, but her sister is still intent on trying to find the child, so she hires Patrick to help with the investigation, because Patrick does know the underbelly, the seedy sort of population of Boston where the story takes place in. And as he dives deeper into the investigation, a conspiracy starts to form around the missing girl, around the police, as well as he starts to find out more about her living arrangements and really what her mother was like. And all of this blends into the central catharsis of the film that asks you, what is the right thing to do? I can't go any further past what I've said if you haven't seen the movie, because I won't spoil it. Even though this is a 13-year-old film, it has a story that I, I don't want to spoil because it's so good. I love the characters of this film. I love the moral drama. I love the moral conflictions that not only does Patrick go through, but every character goes through. Ed Harris is fantastic as Remy because you see that he is a good cop, but he has a dark heart. Morgan Freeman, while not having the largest role in this film, is a really cool character. Everyone talks about wanted with him saying the F word, and correctly so, that is a pretty notable F word from Morgan Freeman, but he also swears in this film too. Michelle Mahonigan is fantastic as Patrick's partner I did very much like her character because while Patrick is the main character there's a lot of times that I relate to her to Michelle about how she's feeling about the situations and what she feels is the right thing as the story progresses the film talks about the aspects of Boston life who are the people who is the city and Ben Affleck does a really good job incorporating the city as a character in this film from the places that they go to to the bars that they go into that are pure black, this kind of seed of darkness. And when they walk out of them, every time it's always into daylight, it's blinding. That's kind of being thrown back into the reality of the world. There are several interactions in this film that just will stop your heart because of how intense they are. The film hooks you in really early on with Patrick going to a bar and kind of figuring out a little bit more about the night that the girl went missing and it turns into a standoff. This is like the first 15 minutes of the movie. It does a great job at pulling you in. It will pull you off your phone. It will pull you off of whatever distracting you. It will pull you back in because you are hooked. That line does not leave you throughout the whole film right up until the end. Gone Baby Gone in my opinion, is Ben Affleck's best movie. I know that Argo won on the award. I know The Town is a great crime film. Live by Night is... Oh, that was unfortunate. It's not that good. But I feel that Gone Baby Gone is his best movie because it's him 100% in the director's chair. He is just focusing on the narrative. And while a lot of the dialogue is kind of verbatim from the novel, they did have to cut a bit down. I definitely feel that Morgan Freeman's character probably has a lot more of a presence in the book than he does in the film. But the film still runs really good for an hour and 15 minutes. It has great pacing. It has great editing. There's intense moments of conflict throughout the film. It's just a very good investigative film. And the whole thing that I've been dancing around is the ending. At least to say it doesn't play out like what you're used to with most of these kind of crime stories. It poses a question to you that purposely hangs in the air throughout the entirety of the ending. The last shot in particular holds for as long as it does because it is showing the uncertainty of whether that decision was in fact the right one to make and I love that it hangs there. I think it's a fantastic ending. In the end I'm gonna give Gone Baby Gone a 7 out of 7. This is a fantastic movie. If you've never seen it I would highly suggest it. It is one of my favorite crime investigative films of all time. Thank you Shannon for suggesting that and thank you to the Patreon supporters as always for supporting the channel. If you guys would like to support the channel I'll have a link for the Patreon in the description below and you guys can help me choose movies like this one to review. Anyways guys that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe. Otherwise see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.